Hello. How you doing? I'm Dave Mansueto, one of the guys over here at Wizard Media, and I wanted to uh, show off our iPhone app today. So, for all you iPhone users out there, um, if you're interested in getting podcasts on your device easily uh, at a very simple place that manages all your subscriptions, you may want to check out iPhone.Wizard.TV is the web address. So let's have a look, you see, here, what the app looks like. When the phone turns on, turn on, there we go. Got the iPhone, going to the Safari web browser, typing in iPhone.Wizard.TV. And what you're going to see here is loading up, is an inbox of podcasts that I subscribe to. Now when you sign up, you get a few preloaded for you that we've selected from the, uh, oh this is weird, Wizard Media Network. But as you can see here, this is a very simple inbox system and it's let me know that there are new episodes available for certain shows that I like for example uh, Grammar Girl. Let's take a look at that. Gives you a little information about the episode, right? And boom! And I'm off! So the podcast is now streaming down. Uh, right now I'm on Wi-Fi. But what's great is MP3 podcasts, audio podcasts, work great over the Edge network. So you can be driving around in your car. You can cue one of these puppies up, turn off the phone, right? So stick it in your pocket, put in headphones, or hook it up to your car stereo system. And these shows are just going to stream right down here for you. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the wizard directory. We're going to bring this up and show you how you can subscribe to shows that you've discovered in our directory. Coming up here, we're going to look in the featured section, and we're going to check out the show, very popular, even with Steve Jobs, Tiki Bar TV. All right, you can see a list of the episodes there. We're just going to hit the subscribe button. Oh, yep, there it is. Okie dokie. And there it is, showing up in our subscriptions list in the subscription section of the app. But note here, uh, you don't have to select stuff from the wizard catalog of shows. You can go to uh, input an RSS feed. Any RSS feed that has media capable of being played on the iPhone or the iPod Touch is going to work. So if you want to, you can do that. But here we are in the inbox. You can see the new episode, episode 30, is in there for Tiki Bar TV. And we're going to watch that. Here we go. Yep, very nice, very nice, very popular. Okay, let's uh, take a look at some of the other features here. Let's say, for example, I listened to a particular Today in iPhone, which is done by Rob Walsh, and I thought that was an excellent episode. And... Uh, Today in iPhone, item number 40. thought that was great. I want to come back to it later. I can mark this one, add it to my favorites. And then, boom, in my favorites, that episode is there waiting for me. So if I want to show it off to a friend, I just go to the favorites button in the app, and boom, it's right there. Okay, anything else? Well, there are a couple little secrets we have hidden in the iPhone app. Not all of them are turned on just yet. There's a history that you can find under the more button. All right, so let's try something a little fancier. Let's say you're starting out and uh, you didn't like anything that we preloaded for you here on the iPhone app. So you've got uh, zero podcasts, not subscribed to any podcasts. Now you can add RSS feeds, you can do it one at a time, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, or we've got a feature in this thing that uh, can get you up to date with all your podcast subscriptions very quickly using the wonders of OPML. So here we go. Check it out. We're going to use iTunes as an example. Let's go to our iTunes right now. All right, and here we are in iTunes. We are going to the podcast section of iTunes. And we're going to select from the file menu, export. We're going to export the list of subscriptions from the podcast section of iTunes. And we're waiting for the box. It's going to export a podcast.com. And we want OPML format, podcast.opml, and I'm saving this to my documents folder. All right, next step, let's go to iPhone.wizard.tv slash web, slash web. And that'll get us to the management 
of the subscriptions. There's my email. Don't give it to spammers. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're in. We're going to click on the import OPML button there. This is still a little easy. It's a little rough around the edges there. We're choosing the file, and I'm going to navigate to my, my documents folder and look for that podcasts.opml document. And I'm choosing that, and I'm just going to send the file. Send the file to wizard. Boom, it's imported. Okay, so now I've imported my subscription list, my reading list, uh, from iTunes into my account on wizard.tv. And we're going to open up the iPhone here. Notice the inbox says, you are not subscribed to any podcasts. Let's just go back and refresh the inbox. Boom. It's refreshing. And out of nowhere, there we are. Ta-da. All the shows that I was subscribed to on iTunes now are all subscribed in my wizard iPhone app. So now I can just click on something like Mac Break and enjoy it at my leisure. Here we come, here we come, boom, boom, boom. Isn't technology grand? I was trying to time it when the movie started. Isn't technology grand? Thanks to the magic of the internet. Pretty cool, right? All right, well, that just about wraps it up for the demo of the Wizard Media Receiver iPhone app, iPod Touch app. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff coming soon. Please search for the group Wizard Media Receiver on Facebook. I'd love to meet you there and talk to you about stuff. Uh, we got a lot more cool features coming soon and shine and polish and all that good stuff. So I hope to hear from you soon. Check out the, uh, the application on iPhone.wizard.tv. I'm going to go listen to some podcasts right now. Goodbye.